welcome back to Let's Talk Ray Bradbury. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do. All right, so this is Let's Talk Ray Bradbury, the playlist here on Let's Talk where I review the stories of the master Ray Bradbury. I'm working on a collection of 100 stories and we are more than halfway through this project. Today's story is The Finnegan, which first appeared in his 1996 collection, Quicker Than the Eye. So, uh, three children have been found dead in Chatham Forest, drained of their blood. One of the Sherlock Holmes, uh, Sir Robert Merriweather, who has an obsession with doors for some reason, uh, thinks that he can solve the mystery that the police were unable to, um, to solve. Uh, he takes his friend Douglas into the forest. They notice the lack of sounds. There's no birds, there's no insects, there's absolutely nothing. The place seems to be dead, which is very unusual for a forested land. Uh, Meriwether reveals that he believes the, fin the killer is something called the Finnegan, a sort of giant trapdoor spider from, I'm assuming, from, um, from folklore. Uh, uh, he's deduced that it kills every 14 days and that tonight is the night when the beast will hunger again and kill. So uh, they return to the forest that evening. Meriwether uh, drinks from his flask of brandy just as he is taken down into the beast's lair, never to be seen again. Douglas is distraught. He doesn't know what to do. He runs back to Meriwether's um, chateau. There he finds a note. He learns that his friend, Sir Robert Meriwether, was dying of cancer and that uh, he discovered the the cause of the killings, uh, but he, he arranged to have poison made and put it into the flask. So uh, presumably he was taken down into the lair, the creature drank his blood, and then they died together in a sort of strange embrace. Uh, but the killings did end after that, so apparently he was right, or was he? Um, the story sort of like uh, um, Sherlock Holmes meets something from H.P. Lovecraft. Albeit in a more sort of light-hearted kind of way. The story's a little bit predictable. Um, I pretty much saw the uh, the spider and the um, and the poison pretty much a mile away, uh, but it's fun and it has that sort of Bradbury effortlessness that makes all of his stories palatable. Um, even if the story itself is not the best, he just has this way of keeping the language light and airy and fun and effervescent. So. You never get bogged down. You never feel like you've wasted your time. A darker, a more horrific version um, could be a possibility for this. But would it work? I, I almost think that Bradbury gets away with it because it's not quite serious. Um, the more serious you try to be, then sort of presumably um, that would result in sort of less believability because, um, of course, spiders are the size are no longer real on our planet. Um, but yeah, you know, I enjoyed it. Um, probably not one of the best stories in the volume that I'm reading here, Bradbury stories, um, but it's not bad. It's five, six pages, very quick read. Um, I read it in broad daylight. It's a beautiful sunny day outside. Um, so uh, no heebie-jeebies, no creepies, um, but we'll see. Not a big fan of spiders. Uh, hopefully it doesn't taunt my dreams tonight um, as I sleep. All right, guys, have you ever read The Finnegan? What did you think? Uh, do you like Bradbury? I'm looking forward to more Bradbury reviews. Uh, you can get those by tuning in here a couple times a week on Let's Talk, um, and I'll be sure to give you more. Um, like I said, we're about halfway through this project. So uh, until next time, see you later.